Mm. Hi, I'm Titlini Hahn and I'm enjoying this coffee immensely. Over the last few days we've had various weather forecasts telling us about the immense amount of rain that's going to fall here. Haven't seen much to be honest and what there has been has been at night which is my favourite kind of rain. Now then I've been doing one or two things since I last saw you. So here's the new border around my plum tree. It's the same bricks as I used for my raised beds. In here there's about an inch of gravel because I couldn't be bothered to spend time weeding this out. I think it looks quite neat. I've put some fine soil in here to try and level out the, the ground and the grass and sprinkled on some grass seed so that hopefully this will take and you won't be able to see any of this brownness. Much easier to keep tidy. Now you may well ask why I've put this into a diamond rather than into a square. Well, the problem is, which border of bricks should I line the square up with? Unfortunately, the two lines of bricks aren't exactly parallel. So if I was to line the square up with that side, it would look wonky against this side. And if I lined it up with this side, it would look wonky with that side. And if I tried some kind of halfway house, it would just look wonky. So, by putting it in a, in a diamond configuration, your eye doesn't care about the two borders on either side. It just sees this as a pleasant looking geometric shape. So this is next on my hit list, the passageway through the pergolas. It's a nightmare to cut the grass and it's even more of a nightmare to try and keep the grass tidy around the legs of the pergola. I've already put a couple of paving slabs in place so now I just need to cut the grass away from below them. I'm going to keep some of this good turf in the middle here because I can use it in some other places in the garden where it's going to be bare. drop the slabs in, see if they're at the right height. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> Obviously they're a bit wobbly but I'll sort that out in a minute. Now I want these slabs to sit on a, a level bed so I've got some sharp sand here. Now this isn't going to be a high traffic or particularly large area so I'm not going to be worried about trying to mortar in the slabs at all. I'm just going to set them on top of this sharp sand. This one's okay. This one's a bit of a wonk across this axis. So I'll sort that out. We're looking good. Let's pull some of this soil back onto the edge here. Well, I think that's looking better already. Now then, the borders here aren't looking so hot, so it's time to do something about these. All righty. Now, those of you who've been with me a little while might remember that last year in an episode called Border Controls I used some of these around the existing lawn on that side over there. Well I'm going to use these again. It's looking quite good. Not looking too bad, now I'll do the other side. Now on this side I want to replace this little patch of grass here. So I'll take out one of the pieces of grass that I cut out earlier and just cut it to size. Lift up the damaged turf. 
check fit my new piece of turf. Stamp it into place. And I'll give that a good water in a minute. Well, I have to say, I'm pretty happy with things on this side of the garden now. It's going to be so much easier to keep the edges of this lawn tidy and to mow it as well. It's gone decidedly fresher all of a sudden and there are black clouds moving in. I'm going to go in for lunch and I may see you afterwards. Well I've had my lunch, the rain shower has been and gone, the sun's out for the moment and I want to carry on with this border. This bit here definitely needs sorting out. Doopy 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 doo. Try not to knock the apples off the tree. Dee 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 dee. Ow, stung me. I'm going to deal with you later. Dee 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 dee. Dum 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 dee dee dum 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 dum. I'm not going to have enough spare grass to do all that I want to do, but at least I can make a start. Oh poo, it's another rain shower. Rain stop play for the moment, back later. The sun's back again so I'll just sprinkle down some grass seed into this bare patch that I've had to fill in, dust on some soil and then give it all a good water. Now I'd quite like to sort this side out as well, but I've run out of bits, so I'm going to have to go to the shop and get some more. Not a problem. There's one last job I want to do today before I finish, and that concerns these suckers here from this rose. They're from this bigger rose here, but I'm constantly having to cut them back. So what I'm going to do is pull back the gravel, dig up the dirt, and chop off whatever it is that's feeding these things and rip it out. Push back the gravel. Now let's see if I can lift it out. Tog. There are actually quite a few runners under here. solve the problem forever in the world in space but it should keep it at bay for a couple more years. That's why I hate roses. They have this habit of doing this and that's not funky. Ick, I feel really dirty and not in a good way at all. I thought before we finished we'd just have a look at Squash City. But pumpkins slowly getting tangoed and my monster marrow good grief I'm going to be interested to weigh him when he finally stops growing well that's all I've got time for this week I need to go shopping for some more border edging I can't find my secateurs anywhere and I feel like I need a good shower thanks for watching and do join me next time in Titley's busy garden Thank mm -hmm. you.